You may have seen and even tried the infinite barrel roll glitch for yourselves, today I'm gonna show you exactly how to rewind it so it perfectly sits on its back every single time. I will also show you how to prevent any crashing issues once you get the glitch down, I know this was a common problem. You will be able to convert these skill points to super wheel spin tokens and this is an incredible way to get money and extremely rare cars. First things first, if you can or you already have one, I would highly recommend using the Forza Edition Stun Skills Boosted Vehicle. This is going to increase your skill score for the barrel roll from 1000 to 1750. If you don't have one of those, you can get yourself a Formula Drift car. With this car, you can unlock the mastery perks and get yourself a multiplier of 7 instead of 5. If you don't have any of those, believe me, any single car will work, so just choose your favorite and let's get started. First things first, make your way over to any straightaway area. I would highly recommend using this airplane field for the straightaway as it is very open and it is going to prevent any crashes that you might have had at the Horizon Festival area. Once you are at your chosen area, click start and make your way over to the creative hub tab. You will then want to select the Horizon Super 7 option and create challenge card. Go ahead and select set route and you will want to select the final destination area just a little bit outside of the circle, it really doesn't matter. If you don't have the Horizon Super 7 option unlocked yet, play a little bit further in the story and it will unlock fairly fast. After you confirm that you will now be inside the mode, once you're inside you will want to click the button that is going to pull out the blueprint builder. Go forward a little bit and pull out the library. You will then want to select this ramp and place it so it's in the open and you have enough space to land successfully. Once you've got the ramp set up, back up a little bit, get a nice distance between you and the ramp and you will want to drive at the ramp fairly fast. You will want to drive off of it exactly like I do. The second you drive off it and your car is on its back, you will want to click the button to pull out the blueprint builder. Once you are inside the builder, back out of it and you will now get back in a normal mode. Make sure to click the rewind button while you are still in mid air and click resume from here. Your car will now be perfectly frozen in the exact spot that you want it to be and just a couple seconds after you will start getting the score streak for the barrel roll. I know a lot of people have been having problems with the inconsistencies and getting the rewind perfectly so this should knock that out completely. Since the max amount of skill points you can get per skill chain is 10, I would recommend stopping once your total score reaches or surpasses 500,000. Once you cross that 500,000 score mark, you will then want to enter the blueprint builder one more time and back out of it. After this, you will want to make sure that it lands successfully and wait for the skill chain to disappear. You will notice the numbers are shaking. Once they stop shaking and the number solidifies to display the total amount, you can then click the rewind button. Keep holding the rewind button until you rewind all the way to the point where it doesn't give you the option to rewind anymore. Even though you are in mid-air, you can still keep going. Make sure you do it to the point where the option to rewind disappears. Once the option disappears, continue from here and you will now be back in the same position and just like before you will notice the score chain start up again. Repeat this process until you have your desired amount of skill points, keep in mind that it costs 5 skill points to exchange for one super wheel spin. Once you've collected enough skill points, make your way over to the car collection, scroll down to Willy's Jeep, click Y and purchase it, keep doing this until you have enough, it takes one car for one skill point. Once you've stocked up on Willy's Jeeps, make your way over to your car garage, you will then want to go to the Willy section and get in one of them. Once you select get inside the car, it will take a couple seconds to load up. Once that happens, you will want to back out and you will want to go to the upgrades and tuning section, go to car mastery and upgrade the exact ones that I do until you get to the super wheel spin. Once that is done, back out, go back to your garage, make sure to set this vehicle as your favorite so you know which ones you covered already, go back to a new one and enter it. Repeat this process. Once you finish using up all of Willy's Jeeps, you will then want to go over to your garage, set the filter to favorites only, click on them and select remove car from garage. You can keep repeating this until they're all gone. This is by far the best and fastest and most polished method to get money in this game. I would highly recommend doing this while you can. This is just an example of all of the rare vehicles and credits I get from the super wheel spins. If you would like to help me grow my channel and you enjoy my content, I would greatly appreciate if you could drop a like on it and leave a comment. It will help the algorithm push my videos to other viewers. Also, if you want to be the first to be notified every time I upload, hit that subscribe button below. And until next time, it's been Kaspa Z, and I'm out. Peace.